Hey everyone, this is Yams from Flipping Central, and today I have a nice quick review on the Gamdias Boreas M1 air cooler, one of four of their air coolers in the Boreas lineup. Big thanks to Gamdias for setting us out for review, and let's get into it. Before I get to the review, I'd like to quickly mention our Discord server. It's super awesome if you're interested in discussing PC flipping and other computer related topics. We even sometimes do giveaways. The link to join, as well as the link for our other socials, will be in the description. As always, even though GumDS sent this cooler out for review, at Flipping Central we hold no bias towards any products that we review. At a glance, the Boreas M1 is a standard, what seems to be aluminum tower heatsink with a 120mm 12V ARGB fan, and it actually has 6 copper heat pipes, which is more than what you commonly see at this price point. The fan design is pretty neat, the blades are surrounded by this sleek black shroud with features some RGB at the top, and can actually just slide on and off if you unlock these supports. This is a super nice feature and makes installation very easy as compared to the metal brackets that most other coolers use. This cooler is priced at $39.99 on Newegg right now which puts it in a very fierce and competitive space. I don't have any coolers for testing at that price range right now, but I did compare temperatures with slightly cheaper coolers which I'll review in a second. As for mounting, it's very easy to follow. You just attach the heatsink to the brackets and screw them right into the backplate. As always, there isn't a manual included in the box, but it's easily found online at Gamdias' website. The cooler uses 3-pin ARGB, which is a standard connection and makes it widely usable. It also has 4-pin PWM for easy fan control. The lighting is very vibrant, which is standard for Gomdias, and definitely deserves credit for its good looks. Even though the heatsink itself isn't black, you'd honestly never see it from where you look into a computer anyways, so it was a good opportunity to cut down manufacturing costs without sacrificing anything performance-wise. For my test bench, as always, I use an AMD Ryzen 5 1600. And as for temperatures, the Boreas M1 outperformed its counterpart, the Boreas E1, and also eats the Thermaltake UX200, Vetru V5, and Thermorite Assassin's Spirit 120, which I all showcased in a different video. This cooler was victorious on both load and idle temperatures, and while it wasn't the most quiet of the bunch, it was still very silent at 50 decibels. So should you buy this cooler? I think it's up to you to decide. It performed well and looks great, but there are a heck of a lot of options at this price range. The main advantages of this cooler is how easy it is to mount, and how lively its illumination effects are. It obviously cools very well, but I'd like to see how it performs compared to something like a Peerless Assassin from Thermalrite. Another huge thank you to Gomius for sending us out. If this video was entertaining or helpful to you, please make sure to drop a like and leave a comment. It's always beneficial to get criticism and always helps in the algorithm. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and check out our other socials. I'm Yams, and I'll see you in the next video.